Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Davey. Hi, I'm Ray. This is our robot. So yeah, the coding of the robot basically works through, it reads the sensors of the data bus, so it has ultrasonics, the camera, and the shaft encoders of the motor. And it takes this information to figure out where it is in the, in the arena and figure out where the pucks are relative to it. So the main point of this robot is it has to read in the a puck sequence, which will be displayed here in the competition. The lights in the robot act to find the puck, so when they look down they cover the top surface of the puck. That essentially lights back up at the camera so the robot can see what colour is what. So a few of the biggest coding problems we've had is with the colour thresholding. It was uh, picking up the purple colour that well. We're using um, new threshold levels to threshold the colours now. That's a turn around, pick up the pucks in the order there from around here in this arena and then has to grab them, return to the purple construction area and stack them in sequence. We've used a custom built continuous servo motor for the arm, the rack and pinion. This allows it to go continuously up and down without having to be stopped at 180 degree continuous motion. The servo is also quite powerful, that's able to lift up the whole rack and um, the whole arm and gripper as well. So we'll have no trouble with the weight. So we wanted to, the idea of this was to keep it simple to control. So other people have arms that like reach out and extend in, in all different directions, but we thought up and down, that'd be easy to code, easy to debug. And we only had 12 weeks to do it, so we thought, keep it simple. And that not, these are set up so that the gap here is much bigger than the park and much smaller than the park here, so even if it drives too far, the park will hopefully only get to there and still get grabbed. So some rules are that the robot has to be completely autonomous. It cannot be touched during the, um, the competition time. The shaft encoder helps us calculate exactly how far in distance and angle we can go. We have two shaft encoders on either side, so if the robot turns we know exactly how much each wheel turns and we can calculate that angle. The ultrasonics down here are used to both recognise the pucks and as well the wall and object obstacles in the way. The ultrasonic sends out a signal, high sonar frequency, and it bounces back and we can tell the distance for the puck so we know exactly how far it is. So the bump switches are there to avoid any sideways objects from hitting. Um, we'll hit the bump switch and then the robot will know which switch it was and we'll be able to move back and forwards based on what switch it hit. Uh, we've cut out the base design for the wheels so that we can get um, no sideways obstacle when the robot's driving. So we had a dodgy shaft encoder, which caused us a lot of um, problem debugging. So we've fixed that now, it works pretty well and it can measure the distance of the pucks with it quite accurately and then go into the pickup routine. So for next year, maybe give the students more freedom with what they want to do is a bit more pigeonholed this time. And I've heard last year that they had more fun with the design. And oh, one definite improvement I could suggest for next year is to provide the plug for the shaft encoders rather than soldering on. Because I know it wasn't just us, a lot of groups had trouble with their soldering and creating shorts. And it was actually caused a lot of problems.